chain of command and to the, the, the newest employee that we have on the department. We will implement and institutionalize community policing in all 23 sheriff station and in every aspect of our operation. We will partner with you. We will solve problems collaboratively. We will operate humane jails. We'll implement the, implement the recommendations of the Citizens Commission on Jail Violence. Uh, we'll deploy mental health crisis response teams. We will professionalize our jail staffing uh, to make sure that we're operating a constitutional jail. And we'll engage in a collaborative reform process where I invite the Department of Justice and other best practices experts into the, into the Los Angeles County, County Sheriff's Department to make sure we're doing the best we can do to serve you. Some are saying a fresh set of eyes are needed. I'm saying an experienced set of eyes are needed who knows where to look and has the courage to do what is needed to be done. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Olmstead, your closing statement, please. Martin Luther King once said that the ultimate measure of a man is not during comfort and convenience, but during controversy and conflict. And I tell you, when I went to the FBI to report the corruptions in the LA Times to go ahead and seek out changes, uh, it occurred uh, three years ago. And as such, uh, we've reached a new platform. We've exposed a lot of the corruption within the organization. I wasn't afraid to be the first to come out to challenge uh, Lee Baca as well when everyone said, you're crazy, you can't do it. But somebody needed to step forward for the right reasons, and I did it, and I've got the courage, tenacity, and dedication to do it. I will be the uh, sheriff for, for a change. Uh, I've set, established a pattern to do so. I've got the courage to step up and do it, and uh, I'm looking forward to your support. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. McDonald, your closing statement, please. Thank you. I think what you've heard is repeated themes here. What we need is positive leadership with the tone is set from the top. We're looking at changing the culture, and that's a tough job. We need to reestablish public trust. We need to renew pride within, pride within the organization. A lot of great people working very hard in search of leadership. We need to be accountable. We need to be transparent. We need to have command accountability in systems in place so we measure what we do. We need independent oversight. Uh, the partnership and assistance from the community that we will get by being open will be only helpful to the organization. I bring three decades of experience to the organization, but yet a fre fresh perspective, unencumbered by past uh, practices in the organization uh, or alliances with people within the organization. My style is inclusive. I've worked in two departments that's been through a transformation. We've had crime reduction significantly in both organizations, firm but fair discipline. I sat on the Citizens Commission on Jail Violence. I've got a pretty good snapshot on what needs to be done moving forward, and I have widespread support from a, a variety of uh, constituencies within our community. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hillman. Your closing statement, please. I want to thank everyone here for being engaged in the civic process and the election of the new sheriff. This is exactly what I want to do for the Sheriff's Department. I want total openness and transparency, have community involvement and input to hear concerns, comments, and yes, complaints about the Sheriff's Department. Except what I wanna do is there's been a lot of theories been brought up, even members of the jail commission who operate other organizations. I wanna move beyond talking about things and actually implement reform like I've already been doing within the Sheriff's Department. Some people running the very organizations that talk about oversight have troubles within their organi own organization and yet they don't have oversight there. So we need to take a hard look at that and say what's real. These are great. By the way, it's not a knock, it's actually talking real. It's very good theories and great ideas, but what we need to do is move forward, take steps, take action, and implement real reforms to your Sheriff's Department. Thank you for your support for Sheriff James Elmer. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Chin Tom Sanksy, Newswire LA, and we're here with someone who's familiar with us, Lou Vince. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you again, Chin. Good to see you. Well, you just got through debating with the field of people running for sheriff in L.A. County. How did it feel? It felt good. I'm glad we're finally talking about the issues, the issues that the residents of L.A. County care about, not throwing barbs and attacking each other, as the newspapers have been reporting. You know what? It was funny. I, when I was watching this entire debate, it was very polite, actually, among all of you guys. I expected a few more barbs being thrown, but everybody was pretty much on point. Talk to me about that professional courtesy that was going on here tonight. Well, I think it's important in this particular debate, there were ground rules set, and you'd be penalizing your time. So anytime there's something like that, you're going to get more compliance. But I think we've grown uh, as candidates, everyone, uh, on the campaign trail and gotten to know each other, and we all respect each other, although we may di it's okay to disagree, but we need to be professional, and we need to deal with the issues the community cares about and how we're going to handle them. Now, Lou, you actually got, you and I can't remember who else it was, 
you got cheers from the audience. You got people who were standing up and saying woohoo during the during the entire debate. It's really interesting because this was quite a reserved crowd to a certain degree. But how does that make you feel? How do you gauge that reaction that you were getting from the audience tonight? The way I gauge that is that the community is hungry for something new. We've done things the, so, the same way for so long, and it's time to say, hey, it may not work, but darn it, let's try it. Let's try something different. We can't keep feeding the same monster of mass incarceration. We need to come up with some alternatives. Yeah, they may or may not all be successful, but there's no shame in trying. And we can't just have more of the same at the Sheriff's Department. So that's how I, how I receive that. Very bold statements you made, but some of those statements you made in your earlier interview with us. Again, you brought up the issue of taking certain duties away from the Sheriff's Department, like the MTA contracts. Talk to, talk to me about how that's being received with the people you're speaking with. Uh, well, the Sheriff's Department doesn't like it because they've always done it that way. So uh, the community thinks most of the reaction I get is, I never thought of that. You know, they, well, I, they never ask why. Why does the Sheriff's Department police the MTA? Yeah, it's important in some cases where there's big expanses of rural areas or unincorporated areas, but really the people best equipped to deal with the juvenile offender that may not pay his fare, or the old man that may be eating the bagel sitting on the bus bench, is the local community and those officers or those law enforcement individuals that have that relationship and know who the community is. That's how it needs to be handled. Not, as I said, a mercenary style of coming in, here's your ticket, go away. That can't continue. So where do we go from here, Lou? What's next for you? Well, what next for me is more debates. There's, there's debates all over the place, but uh, is to continue to get my message to the community. I'm on my third pair of shoes in three months. I don't have a million dollars to mail everybody my message. I'm going out and I'm meeting the people, I'm talking to them, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that I didn't bring anybody here tonight, but I recognized about half the audience, so I know my message is getting out there. You've been on a couple of these interviews. I believe last week you had Van Eyes. This week you've got this one. Um, in April you're going to have another one being hosted by the League of Women Voters. Tell me, you're there. How does it feel for you each time you do a debate? How was it when you first did your debate? How does it feel tonight? Well, I tell you, I'll tell you, I'm honored that a lot of the other candidates didn't have the courage to say the things I was saying or the willingness to try the things I wanted to try. But there's been what's been occurring is what I'm calling campaign creep, where their platform is creeping towards mine slowly because they see the things like you see with the people cheering, the people saying, yeah, it's about time to change. So if nothing else, I'm stimulating a dialogue and I'm stimulating a discussion and an open-mindedness and some different perspective. So while my ultimate goal, obviously, is to win, I'm glad to be a part of the process. Now, one of the things I didn't hear mentioned much tonight, it was mentioned once or twice, that you and Jim McDonald, not part of the Sheriff's Department. How come that wasn't kind of a bigger selling point for you guys tonight? Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's more of a, a technical aspect, if you will. We have to be careful. We walk a fine line. While I'm a candidate for sheriff, when I speak, I am not a representative of my employer, the Los Angeles Police Department. So I have to be careful not to blur that line. And the best way not to blur that line is not to bring it up and trip over it. So it's not a, will, it's not a willful uh, uh, concealment of it. It's just that that's the, that's the game. I have a boss. Uh, Jim is responsible for the Long Beach Police Department. We just have to be careful. Lou Vince, I know you're tired. I know you want to get home. Good job tonight. Good job to actually all the candidates. I guess we'll see what's coming up as we come closer to uh, June. So we'll see you at a few more debates. Absolutely. Thank you, Chin. Anything else you want to add to the viewers out there? Please visit my website, louvins.com, or find me on Facebook and like my page. Thank you. You rock. And that's it for part two of this debate. We hope you come out more informed and you have a better idea of who you want to vote for when June 3rd comes. You do have an obligation to vote. It is a right people have fought for and died for. Make sure their sacrifice was not in vain. I'm Chin Thomas Anxi saying good night from downtown Los Angeles. We'll see you back here next time.
Stay tuned for more news on this Westlake Signal Station.